Hello, today I'm going to do something spectacular. I'm going to write a Hello World application. Okay, there's nothing there, so I can open hello.c. And you probably have seen this before. Standard I.H. This is for printf. It's in standard I.O. And the main function. And just print after a string, hello world, and a new line. All right, let's open the terminal window here. Uh, so now there's the C file. It's 81 bytes, and compiled with GCC. And this is seven. Dot seven kilobytes big the binary. Examine it with the command file. It's an elf 64-bit executable because I'm on 64-bit Linux, and LDD shows what it's linked against. This is something to do with syscalls, and this is something to do with shared libraries, I think. And here is the only library it actually links against it, the seal library, which contains printf and other functions. So let's disassemble it. Object, uh, object dump, D for disassembly and the binary. So you see it's a lot of crap in here. But it's the main function that we wrote here, main. And here it's main. So what it's do, push the base pointer to the stack, then move the stack pointer to base pointer. I think this is to preserve these registers uh, and refer to local variables. Uh, this is not necessary because we don't have any local variables in the main function. So you could actually remove those two lines and this pop line too could be removed. So then move an address of some kind, 4063C, to this register EDI and call put S. I had printf here. Compiler was actually so smart so it translated. A constant string here without any arguments and then a new line into put s and then return zero here move zero to register ax and I uh, restore the stack and return everything else here is just unnecessary code which could be removed let's just see what this address contains it should contain the hello world string without new line okay 63c it's actually not in here because it's, it ends at 635. So I have to look at other sections. And I think it's in RO data. Let's see. OB uh, section RO data. And the hello binary. Here's the RO data and 63C. Here's 6389 ABC. There's 63C. Hello world! Exclamation mark. That's the 21 here, and then just zero, end of string, no new line. You can look at the manual page for put s. You can see put s, just a constant string, and put s appends a trailing new line. And writes the standard out. And actually standard out is always file descriptor 1, so this code could be changed to use write instead. In uh, the section 2, of manual pages are low level commands and write is one of those and you don't have to include standard IO, you can include this one instead here you can remove standard IO and change this to write first file descriptor and standard out is one then the st string and count and I think it's 14 bytes Backslash n is only one character. Let's compile this. It still works. And now it doesn't use printf, it only uses write instead. If this is the Linux kernel, not very nice, <laughs> Linux. And here are some device drivers for all kind of devices. You connect to computer like a mouse. Up here are user space programs, like the web browser or whatever. And there is some kind of interface between these two. It's the kernel interface. 
and when user space program communicates with the Linux kernel, this is called a syscall. Syscall, and then the Linux kernel answers back the results of the syscall. And this interface is, uh, I don't know, I think it's called application binary interface, maybe. But what's interesting to note, if you're, for instance, on 32-bit Linux, uh, then there are different variants. You have, for instance, interrupt 10 hex uh, on older Linux kernel versions, but on newer kernel versions, they, it has been replaced by sys enter and on 64 bit it's uh, instead um, sys call instruction and this is only on linux and then uh, if you have uh, other operating systems it will be different still and one sys call could be to uh, write a string to standard output and then uh, the linux kernel decides what standard output really is it might be a terminal window or something like that in addition to uni std you can include sys.syscall.age here instead of write you can put syscall and syscall what sys write this sys write is defined here in syscall.age and then just add the parameters to write one and the string and the length of the string Okay, it still works. Let's obby dump it. Let's see at the main function. Now it actually calls syscall, but it's still a reference to the C library, so we can't see what this does. But there's a trick. Compile this static. Then it should be included. And the hello should be very much bigger. It's very big so big so I have to put it through less and search for the main function okay found it here what does it do it sets things up as before but now calls syscall which is actually somewhere in here let's search for it syscall here so what does this do it calls the assembly instruction syscall and before calling it this syswrite is the first argument, puts in ax, second in di, third in si, and the fourth in dx. So you have to remember this if you want to write this in assembly language instead. But first, let's generate an assembly file. You can do that with gcc dash s. Hello.c. And now hello.s has been created and I can actually move it to hello.bigs because big s uh, is for a file that has not been pre-processed let's open it hello.s this is what it looks like here's the string hello world and this is the label referring to the string you can call it wherever that's just auto generated label lc0 here it is so it's a little bit, bit more clear. And the compiler put in a lot of crap, which can be removed here to make it a little bit easier to read the code. Don't need that either. Okay, and now put some commas. Let's turn to assembly mode. Uh, right, and then what? After the syscall, just exit zero. That's what it does. Okay, now let's try to compile this assembly file. We don't have no hello binary and put the assembly file as input instead. Yep, it worked. Let's try to include some files. For assembly, I think I have to change this to asm slash and I can move this down. Just remove this sys. That looks like this. Now, in this syscall.h, those that we use in the C file, this syswrite is defined. So let's just copy this. It should be available from here too. And that should go into ax. 
let's not call a libc function. <laughs> let's call a syscall instruction directly. And then we should move sys right to ax. And there's the file descriptor, string, and length. Don't need cx. Nope. File descriptor 1, hello goes in there, and length was 14 goes in there. This should work. I'm going to remove the hello and do this again just to prove that it works. Yep, here it comes, hello, and now we didn't call the libc function, we called this call directly. You should be able to see it in the object dump of hello too. There's still a lot of libc left in here, but this looks better now. And this call and return zero. Now we can do something even more incredible uh, if we create an object file instead. Okay. Here's the object file. It's only the main function, and if we try to link this, it's going to complain because it can't, can't find a simple start. Because this start is actually in uh, some CRT from the C compiler. Uh, but we don't need that. We just want the main function. So let's just rename main to underscore start. Yep, replaced a lot of <laughs> occurrences. All right, now I have total control. I don't need this stack thing. We don't have any local variables, so we can remove this pop too. But what are we going to return to? I have to call the exit syscall instead. I can just copy these lines instead of this. Remove those two. <laughs> and here, call this exit instead. And move zero to EDI. Okay, exit zero. This should also work. Now, let's rebuild it. Okay, let's see if obdump hello.o Yeah, it looks exactly right here. So now, let's link it. Considerably smaller. And it still works. <laughs> okay, now obi dump the whole ho hello binary. Uh, look, that looks good, doesn't it? It's just the start function and two syscalls, one right and one exit. Let's see what links against L LDD hello. Not the dynamic executable links against nothing. And file hello, not stripped. Okay, let's strip it. Strip hello. It's 568 bytes. Let's see if it still works. Yeah, it still works. Pretty small. From 8 kilobytes and linking to libc down to 568 bytes. And not linking against anything, just self contained code. Obu dump. Hello. Here's all of the code. And let's look at the RO data section. I think dot RO data. And here's the hello world string at address 40010A. And here's the address move 40010A to ESI. Works perfectly. So this code is actually faster, smaller, meaner and leaner than writing it in C. Nifty, yeah.